First technique is going to be an entry into the saddle and then we're going to use the saddle to pass the guard and get and to advance our positions like moving to side control and mount. So Jordan steps in with his right leg, I block with my right foot, so the sole of my right foot goes on his shin, left leg comes in the inside and I get my overhook grip. I'm going to send my head towards the far leg and I grip the far leg with my right hand. When I do this, I'm going to make Jordan take an extra step with his right leg, so I'm going to pull with my left leg. So head goes to the far foot, I grab the far knee, and then I make Jordan take a step with his right leg. And then we go to single leg X on the far side. So when we get into this position, we're going to take our foot lock grip, my foot goes down towards his knee, flare my knee on the outside, and then we come into our regular X guard. I'm going to put the sole of my foot on the inside of his thigh so I can push and then put the weight onto his hands. Once this happens, we get our reverse X position, so you can see we have like active feet here, so I'm connecting my laces to my training partner's quad and his hamstring. I'm gonna draw an arc with my two legs and bring Jordan's right leg towards my head here. We triangle our legs or across our feet. We bring our training partner down to the floor. We're either gonna land with our knees up towards the ceiling or we're gonna land on our left side. So the reason we do this is if we, if we go on our right hip, this encourages our training partner to do the running man escape and starting to free their knee. Leg, block with my right foot. My lace is connected to the inside of my training partner's right leg. I take my overhook grip behind the knee. I send my head towards the far foot and then my right hand goes to his, to his left knee. When I do this, I make my training partner take an extra step with their right leg. So I'm gonna pull my left leg towards my left shoulder. Once this happens, I take single leg X on the far side. Left knee goes down, right foot, the sole of my right foot goes on my training partner's thigh and I push and extend my legs to put the weight onto his hands. I then put my, I change my leg position so my right leg was on top of my left. I'm gonna go right under left and we go into our reverse X position. So active feet, so shoelaces are connecting to the quad, shoelaces are connecting to the hamstring on the back leg. I'm gonna draw an arc, bring my training partner's legs towards my head. We cross our feet break our training partner down to the floor, knees are facing towards the ceiling or to our left hand side so we can encourage backside 50-50 attacks. <laughs> So I'm on my left hand side here. I'm gonna use this saddle position to come up and, and start going into passes. So the way I do this is I unlock my legs. I'm gonna use my right leg as a pendulum. I'm gonna help me get up, or help, that will help me get up from my hip to my elbow to my hand. So I pendulum my leg, I send my head forward, I go to my elbow and then my hand. You can see when I do this, I plant weight onto my right foot. So I pendulum, I go from my shoulder to elbow to hand and I plant weight onto my right leg. Once this happens, I'm gonna start bringing my head across my training partner's body. So I'm on the left hand, or on my left hand side. I'm gonna bring my hand close to my training partner's hip and my head starts to go over to the far side. So once I get my head on the far side, I take a step, I grab the wrist and I'm gonna go thumb facing up towards the ceiling. Or sorry, thumb, thumb facing away from me. I get my head position and I have a shallow underhook. So all we're gonna do here is bring our knee to the outside, hip goes to the floor, reverse into my training partner, turning his knees and hips in the opposite direction and then we can go into side control. So again, we're playing on our left hand side. I use my right leg as a pendulum. This will help me go from my elbow to my hand. I use my right foot to help me get my hips higher than my training partners. And then I start to step my hand forward towards my training partner's hip. I bring my head across to my training partner's right hand side. I let go, as, go of his left leg. I look to grab the wrist, thumb facing away from me. And then I get a shallow underhook on the hip. I then send my weight forward and get the head position. I take a step with my right leg. I get my underhook here, so like a high underhook. Slide my knee out first, that brings my hip nice and low to the floor. So it makes it harder for your training partner to get their knee back. Once my hip and knee are touching the floor, I release my foot. We back into our training partner, turn the knees up to the ceiling or away. Once this happens, we can go into side control where we can start getting some attacks going. <laughs> Our next option from using this um, 
pendulum motion from the saddle is to go into belly down heel hook. So again, I unlock my right leg, use this pendulum motion to help me go from my shoulder to my elbow to my hand. I start bringing my left hand towards my training partner's hip. Instead of letting go of this leg like we did on the last one when we went into our passes, I'm gonna keep the leg when I put my head down towards the floor. So there's weight in my head, weight in my hand, my right knee, and now my left knee. Really important I put weight in my left knee because if I leave this um, knee exposed when I unlock the legs, my training partner will free his leg and then eventually he'll build up in a post and escape. So we keep the grip and I drop weight onto my left leg. When I drop weight onto my, my left leg, I triangle my feet here down at the bottom. So once we have our feet triangled, I swim my left hand on the inside so I start separating the legs. I drop my left shoulder when I start looking at my training partner's heel here. If my training partner stays flat, we can spread our knees so you see where we're, we're widening our knees apart and then I can start to hip through where we get the finish. You can get, we see we get super tight finishes here. If maybe I start separating the legs and Jordan starts to turn, we turn with him and then we can go into backside attacks or the very worst or, or at the, the very least if he turns we can go into finishes from saddle. We're playing on our left side in the saddle. I'm going to use the pendulum motion with my right leg to help me get up from my hip to my elbow to my shoulder. Here I use my right foot to help me raise my hips higher than my training partner's hips. I start to bring my hand in towards my training partner's near hip. I drop my right knee to the floor, hand goes to the far side, head goes to the mat and then my left knee goes in front of my training partner's quad. The reason we do this is if I unlock my training partner's legs and I leave space here he's able to free his knee and then build up in a pose and escape. So you want to keep weight onto this leg. I then triangle or cross my feet. I drop my left shoulder down towards the floor and I start looking at the leg I want. So you can see I'm starting to separate his legs here. I'm going to use my elbow on the knuckle of the big toe to turn the foot, connect the bicep on my train, the sole of my training partner's foot and I'm bending his leg. If my partner stays in this position where we're belly down, I spread my knees apart, head goes forward and then I hip through to get a tight finish. If my training partner decides to roll and escape, I roll through with him either to saddle position or if we kind of roll halfway through we end up in like a backside uh, a backside heel hook position if he rolls all the way through we end up landing into the saddle with the heel hook and our hands joined <laughs> Thank you.